that Z podcast Z podcast Zambian conversations with Habin we talk to Zambian movers and shakers the change makers the achievers we also discuss interesting topics subscribe to our channel on YouTube that Z podcast follow us on Facebook and Instagram listen to that Z podcast on Spotify Apple podcast and anchor that Z podcast Zambian conversations with having hosted by K, K-, K- plus it's K-, K plus baby <laughs> I've been looking forward to this episode for so so long. I'm no, sure you, you I'm sure you have been as well. Yeah. From the day you told me you met Chela Tukuta at uh, uh, was it a restaurant or something? Capello. Capello. Yeah. yeah, from the day you told me you met Chela and it would be nice to have him on the show, you spoke and he said it's going to come on the show. I've been so excited and anxiously waiting for this episode. The man is finally here. The man, the myth, the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. Welcome the- to it, episode 21 of that Z podcast. My name is K+. And I have to introduce him today before he calls me his bitch for not mentioning his name. God damn right. Elson. Yes. Wearing a t-shirt. What? You're the best daddy in the world. God damn right. Who did you pay to make you this t-shirt? I didn't, I didn't pay nobody. My, my sperm is freaking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it at that. No, no further questions about that t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> roll the intro. Anyway, roll the intro. Yeah. So, so much has been going on this week. Um, if we could just break down things that have been happening on social media. I'd like to start with one thing before we talk about Will Smith, which I know you're itching. to talk about fuel prices jesus i saw the hike i was about almost about what five kwacha yeah Ooh. i saw the hike and i thought to myself if you're living in ibex hill like you and i mm. and you've got a girlfriend in road spot Ooh. it's officially a long distance relationship and you know the craziest part is she tells you to come over then you get there then she says i'm on my period when yeah. you've driven across the freaking town <laughs> what where did i find this guy from you'll be like is is your mouth on his period <laughs> <laughs> nah man listen ladies you need to stop these games cuz petrol is expensive <laughs> we're actually we're actually talking about the same thing when coming yeah right uh, the, yeah. the price of fuel no we're talking about what is talking about yeah <laughs> girl, well she makes you drive across town and then she, you mm, find and then she tells you no i'm i'm on my period <laughs> like, so you did not know that you're on your period when i was in my house <laughs> do you know how much i listen man let me tell you something about these fuel prices yeah mm. You do not need to be making life decisions when you're at the gas pump. I know, right? Right. I remember like, when Chris Rock said that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, if I fill this car up, I might have to eat veggies for the mm. rest of the week. Mm. Hey, man, it's ridiculous. I saw I saw cars packed at petrol stations last night. Cuz people were trying to fill up before the prices went up. Yeah, but then again, you fill up and then what? Five days later, your tank is on E and you have to buy fuel at the new price. So What was really the point of It's still the saving. The last saving. Yeah, but of how much though, bro? A, f- a whole four kwacha on the, the is it, well, the increment is what? Four or five kwacha. It's now at 26. It's 20. it was, yeah, it was 21. 21. So it's so like a five five, five some something. five point something. Yeah. Yeah, so gentlemen, if if she's not in your neighborhood, it's a long distance relationship. Yeah, man. Yeah. Make a plan. Move her to your hood or something, nah, I don't know. This 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 price hikes are ridiculous. <laughs> And also in essay there might be a reduction too. Um I was Might actually be. talking to a fuel supplier about an hour ago asking him um uh, to explain further like is what we're hearing on the news the truth is that about what's happening in Ukraine Russia is that the reason why fuel has gone up uh he was telling me look it's it's, it's a global increment there's so many factors pushing mm-hmm. the fuel prices up but we should be happy in Zambia because Zambia actually has one of the best prices in the region mm-hmm. this is a fuel supplier who's bringing in fuel from South Africa today mm-hmm. and he's telling mm-hmm. me it's coming across the is it Atlantic Ocean dimension or Indian Ocean but it's coming from Europe and it tells me Zambia actually we've subsidized our fuel prices yes, right and yes. we've got some of the best prices in the region right yeah. yeah and he's telling me compared to what they're buying fuel for where he's getting it from in the UK pump price is almost 50 kwacha and we're buying it for 26 right Wait, yeah. in the US it's 100 kwacha Qu- in in kwacha yeah, yeah? In kwacha. pump price almost 100 kwacha man but you know the craziest thing is what what, what, what stops us from getting our fuel from Angola Because um, they make they they make fuel, don't they? Angola, Angola Mozambique, Nigeria, yes. South Africa itself. Um um I think it's I think Guinea as well. Yeah, but regardless of where it's coming from, uh prices have gone up everywhere. That's the point. You know what I mean? Yeah, Because there's some people who come and point at the government today in Zambia and say, "You guys promised us pump price of 12 kwacha a liter yeah. when you were campaigning." 
which is what's happening. And you're close <laughs> to the president. So yeah. I'm, I'm sure you're feeling the pressure as well when he's talking about these things in state house. No, but you see, yeah. at least the beauty is that okay, when, you, when there's these increments, right? Yeah. It's not that they're going to misuse the monies and the funds. Mm-hmm. You know, it's going back into the into the economy. Yeah. You know, uh, there's, you're talking of 11,000 plus health workers, teachers. Being re- so, as much as people may be complaining and saying, oh, wow, you know, they've, they've increased. But those are things that were in the pipeline. Whether you couldn't avoid them. Yeah. You mm. understand? You mm. couldn't avoid them. It was coming. So, <laughs> we don't produce fuel as Zambia. So, because I actually saw someone commenting this morning talking about ah, this government. They promised us 12 kwacha a liter, man. What the mm. hell is going on? What the F? Some things are beyond the government. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know uh, what I mean? he's validating that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. The other thing, the major thing that happened this week. Well, and, and like, this episode is going to slap harder than Will geez. Smith because of Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I condone <laughs> violence, but this episode is going to slap. Speaking of Will Smith, your thoughts on the slap, though. Let's start with Chella. When you, when you heard or saw the slap, what, what's the first thing that you know, came to your mind? It was a publicity stunt. Publici- you think so? It was a publicity stunt. Do you think it was, it was staged? Let me tell you what. Look at the way Will Smith walked on stage. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay? Then you see Chris Rock sees him coming uh-huh. and he's just standing there. And then Will Smith goes there. Boom. Bam. And then he's like, oh, what a great night in history of television, whatever, you know? Yeah. And then he continues... I and think it then, was damage control on Chris Rock's part, though. Yeah, but no. Chela, look at it this way, no. bro. Uh, look at it this way. Mm-hmm. Will Smith has been the softest guy yes. ever. I mean, dating back to... You remember Eminem used to, like, take shots at Will Smith? Yeah. Now, Will Smith don't have to curse on his records. So, F him and F you, too. Will Smith is one of these guys <laughs> that's soft. So, that is the last thing that Chris Rock could have thought that Will was going to do. Was slap him. Yeah, but... Probably could have arranged it and say, you know what, you should, st- you should slap again, him on stage. What's the motive? Because but this is this is Will most likely. No, okay, look at this. He slaps him, right? He goes to receive the award. He apologizes, mm. isn't it? Mm. You know, he's apologizing and all those things. Mm-hmm. Then he goes to party. Mm. He parties. He parties. He parties. Then he realizes, oh oh, I made mm-hmm. a mistake. Yeah. Let me go back and you know of a, a whole apology post. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? Right. Then the next thing, you see the media is tilting towards women with <laughs> this yeah. condition of hair. Mm. Blah, blah. So, here's what you, what the uh, Zambians also need to understand. Publicity is about, is, you know, these guys, they love numbers and getting their attention. He, that, he, is, that is the truth. So, Chris Rock is talking about a tour yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And his tickets actually went up, by the way. Sold out. Thank yeah. you. His tickets ticket sold out after after the slap. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But, but he, then he, my point, my yeah. my point, mm-hmm. Chela, is what is Will Smith's motive? Because on Probably this day, there's something coming up. On this day, he was he was tipped to winning his first Oscar. Mm-hmm. Why would he want to do this, and risk never being invited to the Oscars again? Wait a minute. They can tell you that you will not be invited for the Oscars, but he offered apology, isn't it? Right. He okay. apologized, yeah. He apologized. So how do you punish a guy that apologized, that asked him to say, you know what? I made a mistake. So yeah. I'll never do it again, blah, 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 and all those things. And then if you observed, it shifted from the slap to the apology. Mm-hmm. If you so, look so, at the sorry, stance. Sorry, just to cut you off. Where's Martin? Are you able just to ask Landon? If they could, I was about to apologize and say if you hear any music, we're at Riders still, like yeah, the past two episodes, yeah. and uh, there's a the sound check happening with just, the band. Just, just ask London if you could just, just for about half an hour or so. Yeah, here's my take on the whole issue. Um, when Jada Pinker cheated on Will Smith, yeah, mm-hmm. she went, she later went on and destroyed his masculinity on that Red Table Talk show right. of hers, right? By mm-hmm. explaining why she cheated on him, right? Not having much attention and he's, he's too busy, whatever. And then at the awards, I don't think Will Smith even took offense with that joke. He laughed. laughed. He laughed. He and laughed. then he looks at the then, wife. And she's she rolling looks upset her eyes. And he's like, shit. It's one of those moments where mm, she looks at him with that. Are you going to do something? If you, don't do, if you don't do shit about this, this is why I cheated on you. Yeah. Kind of look. Yeah. That's, that's what I saw. And that's yes. how I saw the whole situation. I agree with you. Yeah. I don't think it was staged. Nah. Because Will had a lot mm. more to lose. In fact, he was actually asked to leave right after that. Did you know this? 
Serious. Look. They want to him and they asked him to leave. Can they chase Will Smith? Can they what? Can they chase him? Can they chase him? They asked him to leave. Did he leave? No, he didn't. He refused Did to they, leave. They would have pushed him out. But no, I, I, I really felt they should have punished him because it sets bad precedence. Because this now goes... This, Look. This, guys, it does set bad precedence. Guys, guys, let me tell you something. Yeah. Publicity. It's, it's publicity. <laughs> There's Whether more talk the about negative. the awards now, yeah? That's Look, your point. The point here is that the 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 the, 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 the awards, right? Yeah. It will have more attention now. Look at the attention it got. It even overshadowed the Russia Ukraine war. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I, I, I heard somebody complain. That was I think on CNN where they were dissecting the whole issue, and somebody spoke about so unfair of Will Smith to overshadow uh, you know events happening. The question in- is, has Will Smith lost numbers? He's actually gained more numbers, he's but he's lost numbers. respect from a lot of people like me. Look and me. You see what I mean? No, no. He's gonna come up with something. The major apology, and we'll move on. No. Yeah. You forget because this week will pass. <laughs> and you come up with a movie or something <laughs> and you all love it not even a, you, not even a day yeah. minutes later he won that yeah. award and people started moving on ah. and this is how hypocritical hollywood is people stood up to applaud him when he won thank you but what would the situation have been like if he was white if he had slapped a white person or if he slapped mm, a white person he would, what be, a, he would be under the jail right now <laughs> not in I, I, <laughs> in would be a luxury and let me tell you if if he had if i was chris rock yeah and he slapped me because you know will has got way more money than chris yeah i would be and way more on body stage as well. right yep. now in a fetal position <laughs> i would have a concussion <laughs> anyway that's the money's on way it was staged. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the joke about what if it was Dwayne Johnson who cracked that joke? Ooh. Would Will have walked onto the stage? Did you, oh. his, did you see his face though? Did you see his reaction? <laughs> Dwayne Johnson, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I know. He was a bit shocked about the whole thing. Even Lupita. Lupita was sitting right mm. behind Will. Lupita was like, oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, welcome to it. That's it. Podcast episode 21. Special guest today. Why don't call him special? This man... Every time he made the headlines the past, what, three, four years, controversy after controversy. Today, we break it down like a fraction. We break down the man like a fraction as well. Dissect him. Find out more about the man behind the name, Chela Tukuta. And I'm curious to find out right now, which is the name? Cornelius Mulenga, like the judge called you and sentencing you? Or Chela Tukuta, like you? They are all my names. Cornelius, Chela Mulenga, Tukuta. All of them? Yes. Just, wow. that, just that I use Chela Tukuta. So yeah, so why, why, why that preference though? Is it like a family? I'm African. Chela and is besides, African. Cornelius is a baptismal name. And, ah, and besides, yeah. you know when you know like when you're having sex, it's it's very difficult for especially Zambian <laughs> chicks to like yell out oh, Cornelius because then they start mispronouncing it. <laughs> they call you all kinds of things. Am, am I lying though, fam? So Chela is just easy. It seems you have it a lot, eh? hey, <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> seems like that's all he talks hey, about, eh? Hey. And by the way, before we even start talking to Chella, I need to just uh, give a disclaimer. What I'm drinking today is Red Bull. I was attacked so and much what, on the last and episode. And what were you drinking before this Red Bull? Red Bull. I was attacked so much on the last episode. People were saying he's getting more drunk with every minute. I was, I was drinking. Remember, I was drinking uh, on the uh, J-Rocks episode. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was apple juice or cranberry juice, one of the above. Uh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. It's amazing how people didn't pick up on the Liapa episode. That's the one where I was actually <laughs> slashed. <laughs> and actually said we're very serious on that uh, one. Speaking of yeah. backlash, I've been getting a back like lots of backlash that I am always on my phone. No, he's, he's not always on his phone. I can defend him on that. Uh, we share the scripts. I get my script on my laptop. He gets it on his phone. On my phone. So I've got my laptop, laptop here. So it's, it's a toss-up. Do I give my script off my laptop or off my phone? Yeah. I'm not going to be rude to just begin chatting with people while, while we checking the guests, script. right? So just to set that straight, I'm never just on my phone texting because I feel like that's where I get my script from. Chella, getting straight to business with you. Uh, you are the voice of the people like on social media. You would see social injustices, the government doing mm. wrong, and you would speak out, you know, publicly on social media. And people felt like you are the voice of the people. Mm. And the question now, I think ringing in many people's heads is, where has that man gone? Where have you gone to? Where are you hiding? What's been up? Uh, the voice is not hiding. It's not anyway. It's just that now. Yeah. Um, it's speaking for people now closer to the powers. Now I'm like, hey, sir, the youth this side are crying. Uh, the people out there are crying. Can you, you know, we need, people need jobs. People need this and this. So at least now you can see that things are, are moving. And, uh, and for me, 
what what people need to understand is that I I stand for what I believe in. You know? So I believed in the fact that the previous government was messing things up, was messing, you know, a lot of human rights, you know? People are not able to speak out. Yeah. People are not able to express themselves even when they they saw something was wrong. But now I'm very happy to see that you know you can have uh, that zero guy uh whatever they call him Sean something zero speaking uh, Sean out. Tembo. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I just guy. know yeah, I just know him as a zero guy. <laughs> zero so guy. yeah. So now he can speak up mm-hmm. and nobody's harassing him, nobody's beating him up. There's no cadre like attacking was, him. Yes, like it was in the yeah. past. Nowadays you won't have cadres going in the offices and uh behave the way cadres used to behave back in the days. You know, in the uh, right now people can wear their you know their party regalia freely. Yeah. Freely. So that freedom and and I'll tell you what, when there's freedom as long as there's freedom <coughs> and your mind is at peace, you achieve so much. It's like in a relationship If you're in a relationship with a girl that's always bothering you that's always on your neck always bringing like it's a court case mm. ah, yeah, no, no, no 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 you 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 can't progress but when you have a free mind you think you are able to think you know you have to you, you you're able to have clarity of thought mm. where you can you know plan things so now at least those who are clever and I'm telling you this those that are clever they'll benefit a lot from this government So what's your relationship like now with the president? What type of relationship do you have? Um you know he's my boss. Mm-hmm. But you know from 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 the time in opposition mm-hmm. he's been like a big brother. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And uh you know you remember there was a lot of tribal talk mm-hmm. against him. Mm-hmm. And then I had my own experience of this man that's different totally far from what people were were saying were saying and he he just took me as his young brother and that's why most people wonder wondered why i i took uh, bullets for him yeah. it's because when i believe in something or when i believe in someone or i believe in anything i go for it right that is me right. um, so um how did you meet the first time that you met how did you so meet? here is the thing Uh first things first in 2016 2015 2016 I used to take some pictures you know when they are going for the rallies whatever campaigns ah, yeah. I'll take pictures hmm. so um uh, fast forward 2020 I'm um, speaking and then I think it was following then I was arrested I was taken to Saka Central Police when I was taken to Saka Central Police he came to I saw visit that. me. I saw that. And that moved me because I was like, wait a minute. Isn't this the person people say is a bad guy? So what did he say to you when he came no, to you? He was not allowed to uh, to see me. Oh, okay. So I was able to see Monica, Monica small thing like this. Yeah. Yeah, and I could hear his voice to say, "No, no, no, I just brought him a lawyer. You know, he needs uh legal presentation." presentation. Wow, presentation that just moved me, man. Things. So and, and, uh, go, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so I was like, oh, wait a minute this man i was very touched mm. so uh you came on a saturday uh, yeah should have been a saturday and a sunday but then they should no sunday then they moved me so when i was coming on monday they found they had moved me to ndola why okay. did they move you for that because reason they, 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 yeah because the, the the traffic at the station became Right. too much because right. of you because of me Damn. celebrity so, so because they, there was a lot of people coming so they moved me to Ndola so one of the instead of giving me all the cases here the charges here uh-huh. they decided to split them so that that side at least you they reduce the attention right from this side now when i was getting there uh this man had organized lawyers That's how HH had yes. organized lawyers yes, to, to meet you in Ketuwe. I'm arriving in Indola. They Dola, moved sorry, me yeah. in the night around 04. No, actually around 04 early morning, early hours. Yeah. And then um, news reached him to say Chela has been transferred. Has been moved. Right. So the moment he got the news, contacted lawyers that side. <laughs> I was li- I was arriving in Indola. I'm just finding the lawyers there. Oh yeah. So these guys were shocked. 
and then I'm arriving there, I find there are people waiting for me. Like, chela, chela. I'm like, what? so it's like, like a crowd. Even, even officers, police officers. They were fans. Like, the baddest. <laughs> The I'm like, oh, my Yes. So someone we was just like, yes, it's for us. <laughs> so I realized then that you know what, I was not alone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even when I was going in the in the, in in the, in, the, in custody there in yeah. the cells, the, the I found those uh, they, they had put up a nice mattress for me. Wow. You uh, you were VIP in prison. Not, look in a cell. Not that. They, they they wanted to take me there to punish me. Yeah. Mm. But when I was reaching there, the officers, mm. the guys who were inside there, yeah. were actually people that are on social media. When they saw me, Mr. Chela, ha, guys, you have no idea how lucky we are to have this man here. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so it, it was interesting because they never even wanted me to leave, apparently, because people were. They enjoyed my company. The police didn't want you to leave because they enjoyed you being they there. They enjoyed the company and then everybody else, because even the the, 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 the bathrooms or what, all of a sudden, they were be- becoming clean now. Now you could see the officers, the officer in charge coming to check if everything is okay, if things clean, mm. all those things. But And you know, the, 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 the state of our, of our cells and the prisons, deplorable pathetic. stage yeah. yeah very pathetic that's actually what, what i wanted to ask you yeah, yeah. so like your experience so when you then got locked up at central you mm. get into the cells what was it like with the other um, inmates if i can call them that no when i when i arrived there yeah uh i was taken in around 23 because mm-hmm. mm. i was picked up around 22 with c by c5 you know so when i went there uh, everyone was sleeping they were all sleeping so i reached there was, was this your first time in a cell? Yeah, it was my first time. So I sat. <laughs> okay. I looked at everyone. Then someone woke up like this, you know, like because the lights are on, on, on like there's one light by the door mm. that's on to brighten the inside. Mm. So one guy woke up and looked at him. <laughs> Is that Chela? <laughs> like, <laughs> Even here, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like. <laughs> Is yeah. Mr. Chela? Ah, no, sir. You can't sit there. You know, because I was seated. Everyone mm. was, it was packed. It's packed, by the way. Mm. In there. It's packed, packed, packed. People are packed like that. So he looked at me and says, no, 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 no. Come and sleep. Next here. to me here. No, just come and sleep here. Me was this like the cell boss? Because, I mean, there's always a boss in the cells. Yeah, no, this... the, 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 the cell guy, the, we, they call him the captain. The captain, yeah. Yeah, the captain. He opened for me and he said, okay, you go in there. Tomorrow we'll because now the officers are oh mm. eyes like this so just go in this one first so when i went in there then the other guys are like no, 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 no. this man no this is pf government look at ah, they brought okay guys we are we are keeping this man uh, we're giving him space so they gave me space i slept in the morning i woke up i was moved to the VIP section cell, cell. <laughs> with like a mattress and nice blankets and what, 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 what. And everybody else now in the other cells because there are like four or five cells in there. Mm-hmm. So each cell has got a number of people. Right. So when they came out, like when they saw me in the morning, like, ah, bad days. Yeah, bad days. <laughs> 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 so now when people started bringing me some, some food, and they would bring me cigarettes, what, what. So when they bring, I don't smoke. So I would distribute. Just distribute. Yeah, but yeah, I hear yeah, cigarettes yeah. Became, are, like, are like currency. That ma, 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 ma. If, you need, if you've got cigarettes, you can trade those for and bread. And bread, and bread yes. too. And bread. Yeah. yeah. So when they brought me food, whatever I, because I would bring a lot. So I would just share with. With everybody. With everybody else. And then in there, I gained more fans actually. More people even just like, ah, no, no, no. Yes, guys. There, there are people who, who are not even getting visitors, who had no food, who had mm, nothing. Mm. So because I was there, ah, uh, so, you know, so I was just there sharing. Became a don. Yeah, so I was like, you know, it was interesting. Can we talk about why you actually got arrested? I mean, you were accused of libel. Mm. You accused Doris Lea publicly. 
if I may add, on social mm. media. That was, a, I think, it was a Facebook live video mm. where you accused her of pimping girls to high-profile men in Lusaka, and that's what got you in, the, in, in prison in the first place. Mm-hmm. But where, where did those details come from? I'll tell you what. When someone says, "Because you had so much confidence, man," yes. like you know the truth, you knew something we didn't know. They were, they were, they were, they were the same girls who were saying those things. It's the only the only thing was that um, Chela was on the wrong side of that government. Mm. So when they came to get me with the guns and stuff, then they get laptops, blah blah blah, and all those things and phones and everything else, and go. Now, this is why, even. I'm glad that the current president is changing some things mm-hmm. because most of the times um and especially in the previous regime it was a witch it was more like the law was siding with certain people yeah okay mm-hmm. so you could have evidence and everything else but when they want to pin you they'll make sure that every evidence that you have they have they you know they mm-hmm. grab it yeah. They get it, so they don't have access to Defense. whatever. Da, da, da. So even those voice notes, conversations, screenshots, and everything else, they are taking the. You know. Wait, screenshots from girls who had evidence proving that Doris Leah was pimping them. There were girls who were talking. So, um, wow, it's it's just that you know, uh, life is interesting, mm. so and what, what and and for me, I libel. was liable. So I was like, when you look at these young people, actually, it's it's so sad. And for me, what I stand for and what I believe is that a young person should never be inspired by someone who they don't know what they're even doing. You understand? Mm. You just see Chela is driving a Lamborghini. You say, wow, big man, you inspire me. You don't know what Chela is doing in the background. Right. You understand? Right. And then people right now on social media, they are all flaunting a whole lavish life, a whole this kind of life up among and, and they don't yet, know the backstory. Yes, and yet we know some of us know what the, some of those people are doing. And we're like, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, I know what you're doing, but you know. And then the the sad part about Zambians is that when you tell them, when you try to open their eyes, they are jealous. Jealous of what? Why would, why would Chela be jealous of life? Excuse me. Mm. I've traveled how many countries? I've dealt with how many for, uh, celebrities in the world? Why, why would I be jealous of, of, mm. of, of, of those chaps? Yeah. yeah. You know? So, for me, I wanted to open the minds of the Zambian people. To say, even as parents, be careful what, you know, what kind of people inspire your children. Because it became a norm. Oh, I, I want my child to be a model. Oh, I want a child to be a model. In Zambia, the modeling industry is still far, 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 very far for someone to make it. Mm. So someone here is someone who's, who's showing people to say, oh, I am making it big as a model. No, 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 no. Who, who do you feel is inspiring young girls the wrong way right now in Zambia? There's different people, but you know when you mention them, people will be like, "I'm hey, jealous." You're no, yeah, but, no, bro. Yeah, but, you, but, but you you're know, one of those guys who's not scared of what people think. So you speak yeah. truth to power. You know, one thing I'll tell you is, people are people are inspired. Apparently, you can't control what inspires people. You get the point? Mm-hmm. Because people will even be inspired by a thief, and they'll be like, "No, no, no." Hash puppy. As long as Tamamu we get, if it's okay. Yeah. You know, a chan at hustle is hustle. As long as you respect my hustle, as, yeah, long as, as, long the, as, as long as long as the money is coming as in, as long as the money is coming in, you know. So we've even forgotten about uh, some of these, uh, you know, the the morals, the whatever it is. So you find that there's there's all these people right now trying to to inspire, trying to inspire people, and and some 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 are doing it. Uh, is it out of to try and get name fame out there? Like who? Uh, you, you, there's, there's a lot. There's uh, the, 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 the M, M, whatever. Shan, shan, <laughs> shan, shan. What do you have to do there, bro? <laughs> you know, yeah. So you know, people, young, 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 young girls out there, be like, oh, I want to be. And then I look and, I'm like, what do you do? <laughs> Wait a minute. 
<laughs> you don't do any big things that there's no endorsements you had to say okay you've signed the, the, with this company yeah. with this what 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 and you're busy there trying to tell people say okay I'm building this I'm doing this like what the heck man stop misleading people we and then know. you've been asking models to send you their photos and stuff and you've been posting them on social media yeah. you you've been talking about trying to get them uh you know better modeling jobs that will give them better money is you know, this sort of trying to fix the whole situation that you brought up in the Doris Lear post you know this is what i want to do mm. uh i want first of all to give people confidence okay yeah because i am exposed okay i've yeah. traveled i've done a lot of fashion photography and traveled for that and a lot of people think that you can only take only special people take nice pictures so i want to give people an opportunity to have a professional take their pictures mm-hmm. so that can boost their confidence so through that i'm actually finding people that can even do better as models now i'll give you one example <laughs> there is this girl uh i don't know now now i don't know she's just posing on social media whatever it is now this girl i i found a better thing in south africa you yeah. have to do a modeling agency called fabulous.com mm. contacted me you know you send us what other i even told this girl please natural pictures is what they want ah uh-uh. what do i see this girl next mm. she's now exposed to chilling with the big boys in south africa no Or around here Or around here so this uh and something and ss <laughs> i'll be Who, speaking in SS? parables no idea who's aunt ss yeah uh, people say aunt small <laughs> aunt small yeah uh, people say who's aunt ss Who, who's oh, aunt ss yeah. i say you can't know <laughs> Martin, am I? Hey, hey, yeah, Do you know? Ask Jella. Ask Jella. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, you know, so I'm so then, from social media nowadays. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So this girl yeah. now. Listen, you, these people are waiting for this this side in South yeah. Africa. All of a sudden, boom, quiet. Can she's met some big boys who's sponsoring now. Oh, now. So now the modeling thing is just a shield right you get the point mm-hmm. it's a front it's a front they just put it and i'll tell you what and i used to say this even on on social media a lot of young girls in the name of modeling are used to dra- to traffic drugs it's I've a thing that. that's been there i've heard that yeah because okay there are models what and a lot of dating people you know who are dealing in very bad businesses they will use the so called celebrities models and all those things to hide their monies in those people yeah because when this guy says oh i'm a musician i'm this you want you oh and 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 the thing is that people don't even pay take time to to look and say okay if for example um i'm not disrespecting but if for example people say oh mutale bought a very expensive car Mm. Mm. Right? How much was the car? Oh, 2 million. Oh, we don't have a problem with her having a car with 2 million for example, right? But what to know what is it that Mutale does to acquire that kind of money to be able to fund that lavish life we see for example on right. social media. Right. Mm. So we are not jealous. No, we're not being jealous. We just want that when we are getting inspired we are getting inspired by the right things. Mm-hmm. You get the point. Yeah. So we are not hating on anybody and people think it's hating. We're not hating on anybody. Look, we all have a life. Look, my suffering I'm not suffering. I've never suffered. I've got my cameras. <laughs> yeah. Even if I lost money, I would just get my cameras, wipe them. Tomorrow I'm doing a shoot. People will be coming because they all know Chela. Everyone, people want to take pictures. Chela wants they want Chela to take their pictures. So talk can, about can, it. You know, so it's not boasting, but it's the truth. Talk about that it. People, yeah, people be like, ah, you, you know, ah, Chela, come on. And I'll, I can shoot events every weekend, back to back, back to back. You understand? Yeah. And for me, I am proud because 
I know that I shoot, I work, I work tirelessly and I don't fake my life. And I don't want young people to lead a fake life. That I don't want because we are then in, uh, you know create um like making up a whole wrong generation of tomorrow. You you've spoken so much about your financial status especially on social media. I remember like 3 uh, 4 years ago you actually this is a post that caught my attention and I'm mm. I'm glad you're in front of me today to answer this. Um you posted about how you take your kid or kids how many kids do you have? I've got 3 now. 3 kids, yes. You spoke about how you take your kids to the same schools that bank CEOs, <laughs> mining directors take the kids to, the same schools and you said I'm just a photographer but I'm able to take my kids to the same yeah. schools as these CEOs. Why was that important for you to bring out? Let me tell you. People think that when you're a photographer, mm. then you are yeah, that's g- this cheap guy. Mm-hmm. You understand? But what people don't understand is that you are a brand. Okay? So, I'll give you an example and I can back this up. If I, I shoot if I'm going to shoot a wedding that's premium, I'll charge 35 pin. Jesus. Okay. He just made a salary. Okay. In one wedding, man. I can 35, shoot 35. Yeah, so I've got packages from 17.5, 25, 25, 27 and 35. And there are people who feel like, you know what? <clears throat> like the, like recently somebody yeah. called me and says, "No, me I want the one for 35, but just give me a discount, maybe 33." This is not bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think that I take it? Yeah. You get the point. Right. Mm-hmm. So, if I go and shoot, now I don't need to shoot events every weekend. But if I can get that 35 35 in one wedding in one wedding or two weddings, I'm good. Mm-hmm. You get the point. Mm-hmm. But back in the days, I would shoot maybe for 15 pin so that I've got more more events to more events to shoot. Yeah. Yeah. So you find that I'll be shooting Friday, Saturday, sometimes Sunday. All right. Okay. And you find that maybe I'm making like 50 if you put family pictures or so in a weekend you could make 60 50 60 plus. And okay? Do you, do you do And then my kids go to uh Kwazi. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I have to pay maybe 15,000 kwacha and then it's per term after three months. But I'm able to make that in, in a weekend. weekend. In a weekend. So now you're good, man. So do you do nude photo shoots as well? Nude photo shoots. No, 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 no. And this outside the country when I'm hired. <laughs> I go and do nude photography. You know why you know why I brought this up. But uh, you see, nude photography is like yeah. food photography. It's like food. Food. Like when you shoot food, you eat. <laughs> Don't smile also in the wrong way now. Look at him getting all excited now. Elson is getting too excited about this. I like that. He's, I like this dude. Today is Friday. Like I've got guy. a feeling Elson will be at the tech store tomorrow buying a camera for this you sole purpose. You are goddamn right. <laughs> I'm coming for lessons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for nude photography only. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Shall I brought this up the whole income issue because you know I, I'm I'm trying to understand you now like yeah. You used to make that much. I don't know if you still do. Do you still do photography like full time on a weekend, weddings and all? No, I don't um because now because there's a schedule of the president. That's why I'm bringing this mm-hmm. up. If if you were making that much uh, already, why then leave entrepreneurship for a job when everyone else is going the other way? Yeah, and I I want people to understand this that um there is a relationship I have mm-hmm. with a big man. Okay. So it's more than just a job. It's more than just a job. Ah. So a number of times I've told even some people to say, you know what? This is indeed the pure service to the people. Because they're not even paying you more than what you used to make. Exactly. Right. How much are they paying you? Okay. Uh, I can't disclose here because <laughs> it's confidential. <laughs> But just know that they're what I would well. make in a weekend uh, is what you're making in a month now. Yeah, it's what I, no, so let me no, do the so math. So no, around, no, around no. 50, around even, 50, 60 no, pin. Yes. Yeah. I mean, look, government is service to people. Mm. Yeah. That's purely what it is. Mm. And you see, that's why some people think, oh, this guys went to, to government to make money. What what are you talking about? If I left if I if I went back into my world, you'd make one more. No, more. Way more. Yeah. I mean, your name is still big, so yeah. I would still make more there. Yeah. You know, even now if I told people to say eh, tomorrow eh, come to this place i'm going to set up um a mobile booth a, a mobile booth photo booth, i'll be at yeah. this 
more whatever it is come for pictures you'd get millions of people right people will be coming and i'll just put it okay come 250 kwacha yeah and when they you you find like the, 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 there's a time we did the i did the katu around lusaka and on the cover boat where i say okay i'll be uh, you find people are lining up mm. you know so uh in the end it's you know you you come to to to, to, a, to a point where like you know at some sometimes you've got to do certain things just to have experience yeah so i'm enjoying this job because i want to have that experience yeah. of photographing the president you know what the dust your cv as well thank you thank you so at least i know to say and you know what co- close to the president, president. Yeah, and man. the beauty is that not i i photograph and, you know, and i'll tell you what yeah my biggest fan mm-hmm. is the president what is he like now that is in state and house? you know and you know he's such a is such an calm man just cool man man can you get him onto the podcast yeah you want to get him on the podcast yeah. no problem yeah. in his office no 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 and he's a cool believe you me he would be very happy you know what? i met him on a flight the time i was going to australia he sat i think two rows in front of me right and as we were walking out this is uh i think 2020 when did i go to australia for that gig again 2020 yeah and i woke up to him and i explained what i do and whatever he was so interested and he gave me both his numbers i've i've never had any reason to call him though martin do you know how do you know <laughs> do you know how if you want to know if uh kaleng has gone to australia he'll tell you you have to know <laughs> guys it's part of my cv it's part of my <laughs> It's part of my CV. I need to market myself, man. Yeah. So I've, I've DJed everywhere, including Australia, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, with all that money that you've made, fix your teeth, bro. Why should I teeth fix my teeth? You would have He thought. doesn't want to stand out, like, man. Like, why, why, why should I fix my teeth? I, yeah. And a lot of people will say, hey, man, no, man, no, man. Excuse me. <laughs> What the heck? It eats. Yeah. It's- having some nice wings here. Yeah. And the the person was saying, "Oh, fix your teeth is having." That's the biggest punchline when it comes to use your teeth, isn't it? Like when people want to take shots at you. When someone wants No, I it mean, doesn't even T-bone. offend me. That is right. It doesn't offend no, me. No, you've got a thick skin. I like that about you. It doesn't offend. Look, people will say things about me. I just look at them and I'm like, "Oh, okay." You will talk but I mean, who are you? I don't even look read their comments anyway. So, people will be talking, "Eh, man, I mean, blah blah blah." Oh, okay. I even actually there are times I did like <laughs> so I see that I see <laughs> and you're married still yeah no we went our separate ways damn uh, what you, you two- whispered that I didn't hear that was it uh I asked him if he was married mm. and he said uh they went their separate ways right yeah. there's a lot that I want to ask you about that I know you've got a sequence of questions you need to ask we can get to it now you can shoot how long were you married for I was married for about Eight, eight years. That's a lifetime. That's not a lifetime. No, no, it's not. Uh, for me, bro. For you. Eight, okay. eight years days, is a lifetime. Eight days is a lifetime for you. I, ooh. I was speaking to one of our crew here and they lived with their chick for seven days and he almost lost his mind. <laughs> eight years. No names mentioned. No names yeah. mentioned. Yeah. So why did, you, why, did, why did you guys break up? Uh, because I think it was all about someone not understanding really understanding what you do because you see um, so was it her not understanding what you do or you're not understanding what she no, does s- someone becomes insecure because yeah popular you've got attention from yeah, the light skin girls and whatever and all those things mm-hmm. and, you know so and then they feel like photography is really taking you away from them and then you're like i love photography so What should I do? So you Mine. chose photography over them. I've got kids to feed. I've got kids to bring up. So uh and then sometimes and I'll tell you what. Women can be so focused on material things at times. Mm. They become insecure because they think, "Oh, now that I've got so many cars, got so much property, mm, this girl leaves me." Mm, <laughs> they start calculating in their heads. Right. Yeah, but I reached a point where I said, you know what? Get all these things. You gave her everything. Yeah. Wow. So I go. I'll start afresh. But the thing is that I want a peaceful mind. I want a peace of mind and I'll come back. And I made a very serious comeback. Now I'm presidential photographer and people told you those lies to say 
hey, when you leave, when your wife, blah, 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 blah. You, you, you become cursed. Excuse me, what the heck? Are you talking about? Like, so, <clears throat> I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't really follow social media that much. Mm. And I'm happy that you're here so we can speak about it. Mm. There's a lot that obviously you would see without context that would pop up about Chela. And one of the um, first few incidences or posts that I saw was you and some light-skinned chick. Krisha <laughs> Frost. The thing went Can so we talk viral. about Krisha Frost? Yes. I do know one. Yeah. You know, uh, up to now, uh, Pastor Jimmy hasn't... Uh, hasn't they haven't done that thing on Zizwa because we did the interview yeah. with her. And then people... Yeah. That was a stage thing. Was what there was no relationship yes. no, between no, you and Christian no, Frost? No. Are you serious? Yes. What the? You know, I called her. Yeah. And I told her, you know what? She says, I, ch- I told her to say, you know, I need to get more numbers. And then she also said, you know what? I also need numbers. <laughs> and I told her to say, you know what? It has to look we real. We feel swindled. Yes. Our life has been a lie. <laughs> We've that's why I was telling you that. When do you not believe it, anything you see on social media. Even this interview may be fake. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was telling you that. That slap. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. be you shocked. Stage, right? yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think there's a point now. I'm because thinking. because look, I just tried to look. This has to look real. This has to be real. So that Zambians are going to believe. And believe you me, like a whole week, mm. we planned it. What? I told her we're gonna even make a trip to the copper belt. Yeah, we're gonna do this and this and this and this and this and this and this. It's gonna be a movie on its own. So, watch this space. Your so life, like, our entertainment. <laughs> Tell her, are you sure? I said yes. Just develop thick skin, and did you, you see what's gonna, them? and you see what's gonna happen. Did, did no, that's them? none of your best. <laughs> well, that answers them. everything in it. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Chella just holds a stick. Chella, you owe you owe the whole country <laughs> data, and you're rich. Mm, I owe you data, right? You owe the whole country data, man. If people are watching that closely. Bro, I would see <laughs> pictures of Chella. Yeah. Shirtless. You saw that, right? I've and seen what your nipples and look and like. And can I tell you what? <laughs> I I remember in a day, in a day. Yeah. My page was growing by like ten thousand plus people. Yes. If, where, yes. where are you at right now? Uh, now I'm at 460 something. Damn. 410 Damn. grand a day. Yeah. So I I remember you the last about time I the thing. last time I sponsored my page. Yeah. So it was like 30 30k. From that time, you didn't need sponsorship after. I then. didn't need sponsorship. So the page has grown from 30k to 460 something. But are, are you monetizing those numbers though? I do. How do you do that? How Teach, do I teach do us that? master? <laughs> Sensei. <laughs> So, there are times um, brands would want me to wear mm, their stuff. Right. They want me to, to talk about, uh, let's say, a very good example. I go to the Copper Belt, mm. and the owner of where I'm staying says, I'll just say, like, okay, in Mufulira, this is the best place. I'm at this place. And they'll pay you. How much for, how much for such a post? Know. <laughs> okay, we'll talk. We'll talk of it. Yeah. yeah can yeah. we? Can we just dwell a little bit more on Krisha Frost? So, yeah. What did that do for her, though? Did she achieve the intended? You know. Yeah, she got the numbers. Yeah. But I think along the way she failed to manage, because you see, getting numbers is one thing, and managing the numbers, maintaining, uh, is is another different. thing. It's a different thing. So, you you need, especially when you say, for example, an artist you're seeing or a photographer, you have to continue with the works. Yeah. There has to be that consistency so that people don't become bored. It's just that you revealed that it was a, a, a stage thing. Otherwise, if you didn't say it, maybe it would have been part two to your relationship like you've got back now. You know what I mean? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I still think you smashed. <laughs> no, you already said you did. Yeah, so. I need a break. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so, there, there, there could be something maybe that can come up. But it's the way he's fidgeting with his food. That says a lot right now. Of course, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just enjoying the food. No, there's, there's a lot about this guy. So anyway, listen, mm-hmm. I, I wanted to sort of just get to know who Chela is. <clears throat> so right from the beginning, childhood. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's an interesting... Yeah, was photography a dream from like day no, no. I, I I come from a background where my parents separated. How old were you then? Um, I think before I was even born. My mother was carrying me. Right. And then I was born in a family where um, 
because my father had left my mom. So uh, she was with my brothers and sisters, my elder brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, we lived in Chingola. I was born in Chingola. Yeah, I was born in Chingola, Changa South Hospital. Right. Yeah, and then from we lived in Chingola for some time and then we moved to Kasama with my mom. That's why I started grade one at Kasenda Primary School. And um, life was, life for me has never been easy. It was not easy because um, my mom, when I started staying with my uncle, my mom left me there with my uncle and I had an abusive auntie. Abusive how? Abusive in terms of beating you. Jesus. Uh, you will, you, I, I, I would be told to be mopping on the rains, you know, like on the floor when it's raining. By veranda, you know. Mm. And then you're mopping, but did you look young for things like that? Did and they have then, any kids of their own? Yes. And you find that at, at, at the age of nine, and you have to look after uh, siblings you know, and their them. own kids and stuff like that cleaning the plates out they would just put me in a uh, where well, I would sleep in a place where there was like chickens this side no way and me the other side yes Damn. and you know those to my ticks ticks from yeah. the chicken Yeesh. yeah so um i came from that so how long did you live with them so i lived with them for for quite some time until i moved to another village and then eventually came back to Luansha. Yeah, but it's a very long story. But uh, it's just that people will look at you now and think, oh, this guy you just obviously. fell into it. Uh huh. It just comes from, you know, uh, a very comfortable, comfortable background. background so, so your siblings. So you went to live with your with your uncle and uh, and the aunt. And where were your siblings then? They were back in, in Chingola staying with my stepmom and okay. my dad. Yeah. Then. I came to join my father and uh, in Luansha. When he had moved from Chingola, he went to Luansha. I was working at Yum. He had, res- he had uh, retired from the mines in Chingola. Mm. So he went to, to Luansha, where he worked for Yum Zambia Limited, a company that was owned by B.Y. Mwila. Yeah. The late man. Yeah. man like 40 companies. Yes. The whole country used to work for that man. B.Y. Yes. He was a very rich man. Yeah. Yeah. So then... I went to Luansha Boys, then from Luansha Boys, Pelembe Primary School in Luansha, Luansha Boys, then Syringe Boys. Then, yeah, completed school. I wanted to do, uh, I was sponsored by the Catholic Church. Uh, I went to Germany. You went to Germany? Yes. Beautiful. And yeah, well, that's why I was. Well, what were you doing there? I was supposed to start medicine. <laughs> okay. But it was. Uh, <laughs> It was not my thing. Because you see, people so when people back in the days when people see you get very good results in sciences, mathematics, be a lawyer, be a doctor. Uh-huh. So that thing didn't work out. But when I went to the US, um, and I was studying psychology. Wait, wait a minute, Chella. Mm. Germany, US, this was all the Catholic that was sponsoring yes. this? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So because I was very intelligent. You're <laughs> not, not that you're I'm not posting. Now? Not that I'm posting. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying as a student, very, very ah, good. okay. Yeah, so they took me and I started doing uh, political science, philosophy, and psychology. Okay. And when I, before I finished, you dropped out. I, no, no, no. I okay. enrolled, I enrolled for, for a course at the New York Institute of Photography. Wow. Wow. So that's where I started. Um, and whilst in America, I saw the, the image about Africa and how other photographers were coming from America, from Europe, to document Africa and tell the story of Africa. That challenged me to say, why should other people be able to tell, to our, tell own our own story? Yeah. So I said, you know what? To hell with these papers or whatever. So you didn't finish I'm your degree? photography. No, I finished. Oh, okay. He's pushing... For I'm you just to trying say, to find out. You did not finish your degree because you dropped out of college. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> you see why his interest and why he was trying to say, oh, please he, tell me you dropped out. Please. No, he did yeah, not drop out. No. He mi- finished. Mi- misery loves company. I wanted to have him on my side, you know what I mean? But no, unfortunately, but, he finished. But, unfortunately, but, he finished, yeah. But when I came to <laughs> yeah. Zika's mm-hmm. to do ACCA, 
I didn't finish it. Are you happy now, Kalenga? Yeah, because at least I realized some I realized it was wasting my time. Right. I'm trying to understand how um, you do your photography then you want to get into accounts. Why? You know, it was one of those things where insecurities in case this doesn't work uh-huh. and something to fall back on. Yes. I and always I, I always feel like having a plan B dilutes the plan you know, it's A. It's useless. It's, it's useless. useless. That's just so my philosophy. Say. So yeah. you to say plan B plan what is nonsense. Like I said, that's, I always that's feel what if you go saying, yeah. Yeah. if we go into something go in oh, it without a yeah. backup. Without a backup because that's my it philosophy. It will push you exactly to work yes. harder. It that, this is all you. I have. This is exactly. It's like yeah. the Vikings. Remember the story of the Vikings when they go to war? Yeah. They cross the English Channel mm-hmm. into England when from Ireland into England. When they reach the beaches of England, they would burn their ships. Yeah. What's that saying to the soldiers when a commander or a general tells you burn the ships? You ain't going back. Either we win or we die. Or we die. die. And half the t- 90% of the time they won. Because there's nothing to fall back yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. So sorry, sorry to digress for a second. Yeah. You touched on a point where when you were in New York, um, the journalists there or the, the people that were studying photography would come to Africa to tell stories of Africa. I saw this photo and I wanna I wanna take, I don't know if you've got internet there. I mm-hmm. want to hear your opinion on this. There was a photo that made the rounds of a photographer who took a picture of a child. I think it was in Somalia. It's capture with that the voucher. With a voucher in the back. You saw yeah, that, may, right? May he saw rest in peace. Yeah. He killed himself. Yeah, he killed himself. There was, but he didn't kill himself because of the picture. Because of the backlash, right? Uh, no, no, it was not that. Oh, wh- why was it? Just, he was just going through his own personal right. issues. But you see... So, so hold on before you so my question to that mm-hmm. is whether he had taken that picture or not whether he had taken the child and fed the child or chased the voucher does mm. not take away from the fact that the this fact is that happening this every is single happening. day yeah. so what i wanted to ask is what role do photographers play in telling a story because people were attacking him yeah. you know what i mean that but why would you want to depict something like this what yeah. story let, trying let, to tell? Let, let me tell you something i won you know that i was in 2017 i was recognized among the the best photographers in africa by cnn and wow. i got a cnn award i can boast that i'm the only zambian photographer that has got the cnn you've got the bragging rights man it's cnn yeah. so yeah so um i took a photograph of an old man in chainda compound and i told i i was telling you a story about the gap between the rich and the poor and people said that's the only reason why chela won this picture because it was depicting poverty and people were talking right mm-hmm. now here's the thing a photographer a real photographer is a storyteller not Absolutely. somebody that goes and brushes off your pimples <laughs> and in a studio <laughs> and photoshop feel, ah, Um, photography is communicating a message mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what message are you passing All right you get the point mm-hmm. so for me i always tell people that i don't photograph what it looks like i photograph what it what feels it is, like yeah what it feels because photography is a google of emotions when people look at a photograph it should challenge people's emotions right this one look at it from this and photography is like scripture Mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. today you look at a picture tomorrow you look at it again it will communicate to you differently that's how photography is supposed to be but the the current generation of photographers have changed the whole narrative of photography photography should be able to impact lives like that photograph yeah it brought about certain when people become uncomfortable because a certain photograph just know that something is happening right. and change is coming right so it brought about change there was aid in that area mm-hmm. quickly they moved in remember mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they went to help out mm-hmm. yeah because a photograph sparked a whole lot of emotions true there's a photograph i took of a little girl in kalingalinga some time back i think i was looking at it today i took that photograph and posted it on facebook Okay. That photograph that time uh it reached Michelle Obama's office no. at the time when she was talking about 
let the girl child learn mm. okay i had no clue that she was doing it, but this child this girl was carrying a whole bag of melamine on her head and going to school now whether she was going to school or to drop that bag of melamine at home then go to school nobody knows but that photo brought about a lot of controversy mm-hmm. okay and that's where now people I started seeing international recognitions and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> so, sometimes leave your comfort zone and do some and I don't do things everything for money myself. Mm-hmm. That's why I always tell people, when you do your passion, money follows you. True. Yeah. But when you follow money and fame, these things if you don't if they don't come, you become a frustrated human being. Yeah. You know. So, because I followed my passion, I realized opportunities started following you. <laughs> like the video sign you know follow me money follow me <laughs> i mean it's like it's like us uh yeah. the, the podcast didn't make any money for what, what, what episode 21 with you today mm-hmm. yeah. yeah i mean it didn't really make any money until recently so yeah, yeah. if if we were actually after the money i think by episode 10 we've just said you know what yeah, well, effort yeah because yeah. this is passion man everything passion. really that um any expenses came out of my pocket and kalengas so it was never really about we want to chase fame mm-hmm. or the money so well, i look know exactly at where what you're talking now. about and it's it's getting you know we've got chill on the podcast you know, sorry, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> right and the next one so, hopefully we'll and, and, and i hope the, 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 the president i yeah. hope i hope the people that you know uh, the, the videographers also are doing it because they love but will the Speaking president understand off. that we don't do it like ZNBC? It's not formal. We won't come in suits. It's a chat. No. We'll probably have our shoes off like Elson and, and I today. Way, yeah. yeah. Let me let me say this. This is a very good uh, initiative. Okay. Where you can have conversations like this. Yeah. And people can watch. Right. Because then it won't bore people. There right. you go. You understand? So yeah. for me, the podcast then, when I looked at the, the YouTube thing, I was like, okay. I almost thought that <laughs> was this really Zambian guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so thanks a lot, man. Thanks that's, a lot. That says a lot, thanks though. A lot. So speaking, speaking of, of, good, speaking yeah. of passion, yeah. I want to give a shout out to, to Nicholas. Our photographer. Nicholas. Our photographer. You know, it's a, it's a good opportunity. You're meeting a CNN. What was that, what was that word again? CNN photographer of the year. Photographer yeah. of the year. So can we just give a, you know, plug our photographer? Mm. This is Nicholas. Uh, can Nicholas. we just zoom in? Oh, yeah. Can you just zoom into Nicholas here. Every photo you see on our page, mm. Nicholas has taken That's a him He's right a there. young entrepreneur. He runs, he's called Zed what? That is Styles. Zed Styles. You can check him out on Instagram. Yeah. This guy takes all our photos and he just inboxed one day and he says, I'd like to be shooting yeah. you. Yeah. So I said, come through, my man. However, we can pay you. He said, And I said, nah, it's okay. It's okay. For the passion. For I'll the come passion. Through. So um, yeah, he, we we um we've got an entire team. And, and we hope that when Chela is uh, off sick one day due to COVID or malaria, that you can, you know, sit <laughs> yeah. him at State House. He can, <laughs> he can put in a good word for you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so just, just, just plug your socials and get the fuck out. Okay. Uh, all right, yeah. So you can uh, follow my page on Instagram, Z Styles Media. Yeah. And also on Facebook, the same. So, yeah. Zed Styles Media. Yeah. Nice one, man. Oh, perfect. We, we love what you're doing for us. Really appreciate you, man. Thank you. Zed Styles Media. Follow him, Instagram, Facebook. Do that thing. Chella. Okay, yeah. Oh, gosh. Back to work. The, the, okay. Back to work. Yeah, true. There's so much to unpack. You had a question for him, though, before we... Ah, oh, fuck. I digress. I've got the memory of our goldfish. Yeah, most definitely. Can we go back to... I think the, the year is coming to... Oh, are we done with this history, though? Well, we are, yeah. The year is building up to the 2021 elections. Uh, before we even talk about the victory of the UPND, can we talk about... The, the drama, especially between you and Lily Mutams, what's it like now that you guys were sort of on had opposing views but pushing the same agenda to you know get the PF out? What's life like between the two of you now? Look, I and I'll tell you this, huh? Yeah, there are people who, when they mention Chela or they try to to you know to talk about Chela, then they they they, they get the fame. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of people actually that abused my time in prison <laughs> because they wanted okay. to make a name because Chela was trending, Chela was what what. So when people associated themselves with a the name, mm. it's like someone who who just someone who just wake up and say Chela is a useless guy because they want me to respond. So yeah. when I respond to them, 
people be like, who's this guy? They, let's follow. Right. You understand? Yeah. So now, people like um, the person you mentioned, we're just trying Lily to... Lily Mutems. Mm, they're just trying to, <laughs> you know, uh, get their names out there, you know? But... Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's it's it's, uh, it's almost as if you avoid mentioning a name because you give this person clout. Yeah, because unnecessary yeah, attention maybe. Yeah, you know, because I know when I mention them, it's like an endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your relationship like with the former president? Ah, he's not my friend. Have you guys met? Ah, no, I don't even want to meet him. Oh, you've never met him? No, I've I've seen him at events, but no, like meet him, talk to him, talk to him about what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but then he pardoned you though. Yeah, he pardoned how, me. How did that go? He pardoned me because yeah. he knew Bali was going to pardon me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but so, in the first place. Yeah. Okay. In the first place. Oh, thanks. You pardoned me, yeah? Okay. Yeah, thanks. Small plan. So, did you reach out to him to say thank you? For what? I reached out to Bali and said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because without Bali. <laughs> I'm serious about getting Bali onto the podcast, bro. No problem, bro. I think. Uh, all right. You know, he even likes the youths, the young people. Ah, be so lit. Furthermore, I'll show you right after this. I'll show you the demographic of the people that watch this. The reach of the people that actually watch this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. people actually voted. So, yeah. And the voting public. Yeah, so. Anyway, I mean, I'm not interested in the pardon, man. The process. No. The judge sentences you to two years before you even get to the he pardon. He refuses also to give um, bail pending appeal. Yes. So, you get all that. So, the judge sentences you to two years what did you imagine your life to be like? You, you know, know you slept no, at two, Let me tell you. Yeah. My mind was prepared. For two years? I was, I was, no. Yeah. I knew that I'd done a lot of work out there to influence and convince people to do the right thing. So when I was going there, I was going to now campaign to the prisoners and tell them, change is here. And when they took me in prison, yeah, and they realize the prison votes. <laughs> you take a person like me to prison, yeah. and you think you're fixing me. Oh, bros. We'll go make that place heaven, okay? How long were you in prison for? I was there for like 37 days. After the sentence? Yes. And then I would, you know, Bali would send people to bring me pizza, what, what, and then would make a party in there, you know, <laughs> with the people. And, yeah. you know, everybody, ah, Mr. Jella. And, uh, you know, I'm not bo- boasting, but I've, I'm go- I'm a good person, and this is because people have told me a number of times, even to say, "Oh man, you the time you were in this place, in that place, mm. even the officers." I'm one person who never said, "Oh, because I am this photographer or whatever." So ah, she with everybody, you know, enjoy with everybody. Anybody who's there is a human being. Yeah. Right. As long as they're a human being. But pizza, pizza's on a regular. My man. You become Don Corleone in the prison, man. Yes, man. It but did you ever imagine, like when you sit back now in retrospect and you look back, mm. do you ever imagine what life would have been like for you had the PF won the election? They were not going to win. No, no, I'm just saying, like, do you ever no, imagine okay, let me that kind of a scenario? If those guys were going to win, mm. <laughs> they're very lucky. But, um, because us... We wouldn't be here talking like this. You heard the, the previous pres- the president saying, when I hand over part to myself mm-hmm. next week, HH will be back, will be in prison. Mm-hmm. Now, HH wins. This man is there mourning with him, Arabi. When this man made sure that HH mourned KK in his house. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. So, they should be grateful that there is a government or there is a leadership that is not petty. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, that's why God loves Zambia. Mm-hmm. Because had these guys continued, it would have been worse. But God, because God loves this country, he made sure no, 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 this is not going to continue. And I'll tell you something. Uh, when God has put a hand upon you, I'm not being a pastor, but yeah. I'm just telling you, when God has put a hand on the podcast, for example, yeah. no matter what people will say, 
no matter what people who, the negative vibes if the whatever, favor is upon us if yeah. the favor is upon you amen brother preach hallelujah you will amen. just keep amen. going mm. people are saying tell us going to rot in jail but because the hand of god was upon me to say from prison you are going to be presidential photographer nobody was going to change that you're like the story of uh, joseph people threw him in pits put him in prison and became yeah who's the one that was sold by his brothers yeah it's joseph joseph, yeah, yeah. joseph. Yeah. Now you've you've, so, you've you've lived. He sounded like a pastor for a bit, eh? Pentecostal pastor. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so if we let him speak a second more, I think he's gonna say, "Touch the screen, child of God, and receive your oh. blessing." <laughs> <laughs> and you can send your tithes and offerings to the number on the screen right now. Yeah, and and, and you know, um, I, I don't know. Yeah, but I wanted to st- I wanted to touch about you know, like the. I don't know if you're going to come to that by the entertainment industry. Please feel free now. It's a podcast. Please feel free. Flow. Yeah. You know, yeah. when I look at the the industry, we were talking about fear, isn't yeah. it? We're talking about fears. We're talking about um you know, people not being real huh? and yeah. stuff like that. You know, I need to say if you look at the Zambian entertainment industry, okay? Entertainment is entertainment. Mhm. Did my all those things get me numbers? Mm. It did. Even when I was in prison, you're still getting numbers. Still talking about me. Okay, but I want to appeal to artists out there, especially our musicians. Sometimes, just even learn to fake fights. The problem <laughs> is that you take two things too personal. <laughs> fake a beef. Fake a beef. Just fake a beef. You know that that you, you find that. Uh, this time with Zukanji, the fight is over. No! <laughs> make it some more. Just make it some more because some guys want to watch some more. Now you guys, yeah, you got another. We're uh, done. Followed, we're done. Do, do you feel maybe Slab D and uh, Makitu should they be They should have event? continued. Because I think they, they they had a lot of the hit songs, a lot of songs that we enjoyed between the two uh, were in that period. The beef. Thank yeah. you. And I really want to talk to Makitu about this when he, when he comes on no, in but, a few but, weeks' but time. But let man. me tell you yeah. something. Um... Not that I'm 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 shaming anybody or I'm yeah. shaming my brother Mikey too or what. I love that guy, man, hustler. No, but I'll tell you what. Yeah, he disappointed me one time. He let me down. How? Mikey too let you down. Yo, I asked him a question, bro. How, what are you doing to get your name, not just in Zambia, yeah. but abroad. Nigeria, abroad and stuff? Do you know that I'm very famous? For example, Kanyama Kodia. Okay. Like one misses you, shine, shine, to have a famous, you know. Kuchana be na Beyonce. Do you know how that really hurts me? Because you can't say you're comfortable with the fame in this country, okay? Because if I tell you what, Nigerians are not comfortable with just being known in Nigeria. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Nigerians will do anything. To make sure that they are trending in Zambia, in South Africa, wherever you get the point. Yeah. But our artists arrive fast, arrive very fast. Well, m- maybe Makitu had a point uh, in saying that m- maybe his logic was, let me you know solidify my home fan base first Look, and then go out there. Bro, bro. Are you saying he meant he's comfortable? He's like fulfilled where he is right now, and that's Look, it. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Which musician have you seen tour? Even just locally, they've done a tour like they are doing a tour from Copper Bell. They'll be Danny, in Kitwe. Danny. Thank you. Remember the, Danny. But, uh, Dan, yes. Yeah. Uh, I remember Danny did a Zamto Countrywide tour. I think it was a Zamto or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But now, but I'm asking which Zambian artist would go and do, for example, a tour in Europe, mm. a Europe tour. This time we'll be in Brussels. Pong, Pongozi. What? Da, 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 da. No, P- Pongozi are current. Pongo, that's what I'm yeah, saying. I'm like I'm, that's what I'm saying. To have, uh, to come up with the person who did that, we have to go back in time. Pongozi so, did had know, a European tour. Yeah. Looking at people, people being look, look, guys, a big shout out to you. I can see you've invested in some things. Mm. For you to produce quality content on YouTube, you're not just saying because it's YouTube. Throw on your phone. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, speaking of things, let's on the table. invest. Okay, let's invest. Yeah. In what in your craft, doing. 
So, if for example, tell me which musician in this country you go and do who has done a big a feature a big feature like with Diamond Platinums, with Davido, with Wizkid, they all go and get finished products. But Slap D had Pato Ranking though, and Pato Ranking was at his prime then. Yes, but Ranking was at its prime. But how did he use that to enhance his to enhance name. his give a Nigerian an opportunity to do a song with the uh, Akon? Look at where P Square was. Mm. Mm-hmm. I get the point. Ti what, what? The, JK featured Ara Kelly was featuring Ara Kelly. Yeah. For where is Fali Pupa today? They did the same song. But where is Fali Pupa today? Fali Pupa is able to travel the world. Where is JK? Came back to be a cutter. Singing for Lungu. <laughs> I like this guy. You know, you're speaking of Slap D. Yeah. I'll tell you a funny story. The day that I, that we actually met, so I go to Capello to eat. And I go out alone. You know this. So I'm just about to eat. And I hear a voice from the corner of my ear, a guy yelling, so this is how sad your life is. <laughs> you come to a club and you sit alone. So then I look up and it's slap. Yeah. Right. So then he comes and he sits next to me and we start talking. We, we speak for about for about um 10 minutes. Yeah. And right as I was about to start eating, so I was like, yeah, bro, you need to go now. He then says to me, so shout out to him. This is a shout out to him because I didn't thank him then. He says to me, what size clothes do you wear? So I says, I'm a 34. He says, come with me. He goes with me to a, a clothing store called Mark Ford's right there at Capello. Yeah. Gives me a whole bunch of clothes. Damn. And I'm like, I'll take this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that's actually the day that you and I then met. Lucky you, man. Yeah, I Lucky know. You. Shout out to Slap. It's a generous actually, guy. the jeans that I have on today. Oh, he bought, of... he bought these. Yeah. Nice, man. Well, shout out to Slap. I'm sad I wasn't there, though. Slap. <laughs> um, I'll be at Capello tomorrow. Nah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at Capello tomorrow. What, what table is it today? Nah, By the corner? Fam. <laughs> Who the hell is the biggest star between you and I? <laughs> Chella. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've lost my, 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 my chain of thought here. I want to talk. I Goldfish. The, yeah, Goldfish memory right now. I think it was about the election and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, where were you the night of the election? I was in Nakonda that night. And the oh, noise, that, uh, one of my billboards was torn down. Oh. Yeah, I actually had a billboard in Nakonde and it was being used by one of the the MP now. He was actually using my billboard in Nakonde. That's where the PF put up the you know uh, campaign material. Woke up the following morning, dude. I'm talking about a big ass 12 meter, 12 by four, eight, big ass billboard torn the hell down. It was not there. The whole damn thing gone. Are you serious? Yeah. Jeez, I can't find a billboard to date. Gone. They took the it. investment. The investment. The money I spent on it, paying the council and all that. It was gone. But that's the excitement that people had on that night. What was it like getting the news from prison, though? Do you know, I was following that election. Yeah. They announced the final results around zero two, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Zero Just past midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere there. I was still awake. <laughs> we were watching. There's a there's the a TV, TV in the prison there. cell. Yeah. Prison. Yes, in the cell. So I was take. I've got a book where I was writing the the. You know the results. The results. Yeah, and <laughs> organized, I man. knew that. Yeah, we were winning. Mm. I, I I knew myself because I toured the country. So even when people are saying, "Ah, these guys will rig," what I looked at them and like, sit down. <laughs> so it was interesting. Be, believe you me, I failed to celebrate though, because so? it became emotional. Mm. Because I. St- the pictures of President Akainde Ichilema now started, you know, yeah, officially. The e- pictures that I took of him and my um, vice president, and there were, you know, slide, you know, slides on what, and then there was like a video about HH and stuff. Oh man, I looked at the things that this man went through, mm. the torments, the, you know, the tear gases. Mm. Mm. All those things we went through, the gunshots, all those things, it be, I, be, you know, it became very, very emotional. So people expecting me to jump, and all, but did you cry though? I cried, like real tears fell I did. down. Chella took yeah, his um, face. I, I, did. I, I can't imagine because it was yeah. emotional. I can't imagine that. Is that legacy? They, they, they yeah, say incarceration changes a man in some way. Legacies, yeah. 
legacies here. They say incarceration changes a man in some way. We've we've seen a lot of artists, you know, go to prison, come out with their best albums ever. Tupac, for instance. Uh huh. Did that time? I know you you were in prison for like 37 days of a 22 over over two year sentence, mm-hmm. and your mind was prepared for two years. What did that 37 days do to you? Did it change anything about Chella? That, that 37 days. Yeah. On the only thing it changed in me. Yeah. Was the fact that not everybody that's in prison is a criminal, and uh, that some of the people that are in prison, mm. it's because they don't have money. Yeah. It's because they don't have come through, somebody come to represent them. Yeah. You know, so so yeah. a lot of people. There is a lot of injustices. Yeah. You know, so what really changed the most mm. was the fact that I looked at people differently. Okay. I looked at people differently. I I, I saw that, you know, life is beyond, uh, how can I put it? it? It You know, you become, you actually become more humble because when you look at the people that are in there, and how they're even coming to you to say, oh, Mr. Chela, mm. I've got this case. How do I go about it? And they're looking at you with that sense of hope to say, when HH wins, remember. You feel like Jesus on the cross with those two guys. You know, with so Barnabas like, on his side, eh? You know? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. So, right now, bro, you have no idea the mammoth thing that's on my back that every day I meet youths, I have to tell Bali, yeah. say oh you know what mr president i was with youths in this and this place they want and that's the more reason why i love to interact with people yeah because when they see me they 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 feel you know what they want to talk about will reach body and definitely it does because for me if there's a person that's always close to the president yeah is the photographer so you're always there you're like on the right hand because you're the one who says oh mr president we look this way you're one of the few people can instruct a president Thank on what you. to do. <laughs> so, so quick, so quick question, my man. Yeah. At what point did you get the call mm-hmm. for the appointment of your role now? My role now? Yeah. No. After when I came out of prison, okay, then I got the message from who? From the president himself. Says like a text or a WhatsApp. A WhatsApp message. It says, "Congratulations, my child." Welcome back into society. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. Yeah. So it was president elect. Right. Then, because I came out on a Saturday. So Sunday, I was going to community house, his house in Newcastle. Yeah. So I'm reaching there. I found there was a difference now, security there, the police, whatever. So I'm reaching there and then I'm told, oh, we received instructions that you actually have to <laughs> go in. And then I found people waiting to to go in and they're told, no, 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 do you have an appointment? Yeah. So when I reached, I was very, you know, so I was like, oh, so this is how things change. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, because you've I been went, to that house like a million times, yes. right? And now it looks different. Now it looks different. So I entered and then uh was there. I think that day I found him, he was with people, guests and stuff like that. Then he tells me, don't go first. Around, around when I was about to leave, around 20 hours, mm. he calls me and says, My friend, you came out of society, you prison, yeah. go and celebrate. How much yeah, was it? Yeah, how, yeah, yeah, yeah. how much was it? How much was it? How much was it? I don't know. <laughs> but I just yeah. know that it was a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to buy 20, a suit. So you went to what, a suit? I went to buy clothes. <laughs> no, I, was pre- I was from prison. Yeah. Mm. And he says, My friend, welcome back to society now. Go and buy food, whatever. <laughs> you know, for the PN50, I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> just that cause. So, I went home. I actually went home first of all, and I went put it somewhere. Then got somebody that went to chill, to dance a bit, <laughs> celebrate the freedom yes, nicely. Celebrate yeah. the freedom. Then, I think it was a Tuesday when we were doing the inauguration. Yeah, yeah, it was Tuesday yeah, afternoon. So, yeah. I would go to the community house there and then. 
goes to we went to the inauguration yeah and everything else and then i continued working just like that and then because he had he had told me on 6th august 2020 he told me you are becoming my presidential photographer when i become president mm. after i came out of the cells you remember when he came to visit me and i said i want to do a photo shoot for this man and during that photo shoot he said you are a very talented young man and i want you to be presidential photographer mark this day put it in your calendar diary whatever yeah. you will come and tell me so this was way before the elections yes so he and and believe you me the he always tells people that there's nobody because people are, there's nobody who understands him when it comes to images because mm. you see i'll tell you there are people who are who can pose for a picture and they look you understand yeah so he is one of those people <coughs> who's not going to pose for you but i've made it you know he's become aware mm. you get the point that's one thing i'm proud of you're the bully whisperer uh-huh. so i'm glad that i'm able to say mr president and you know the shots i took of him whilst in opposition what people say we're saying he doesn't laugh yeah he doesn't smile do or whatever and then i i focused on just such moments why was laughing when you catch that uh-huh, rare smile that yeah. rare smile and then he would look at them and say my <laughs> chief you managed to capture me <laughs> one day when, after registering mm. for voting huh? registration of voters yeah i took we went home and i said mr president i want you to hold your wife's hand i want to take some pictures start walking towards me so <laughs> i took those photographs yeah. and they trended because nice, people man. had never seen Bali, Bali holding holding is the first lady correct so you see what that ch- started doing is that the power of photography yeah started changing how people looked at him because people are looking at him as this man who's just too serious to yeah. this man can crack jokes this man i think his whole image changed i don't know who took over his social media platforms when the whole Bali thing started it sort of softened up the way we would look at him And I think from that day he got the youth vote. Mm-hmm. It really works coupled with your photos, man. That really worked wonders, man. Yeah. Now, there's word in the street that you've been uh, banned from international travel with the president. Is this true? That's wrong. Apparently you are a security risk. I was in Brussels with the president. I was in Rome. Yeah, but the story is that this happened recently. Have you heard the story about him that, being that, 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 I read that the story. You heard the story. Yeah, I read that there's, story. You haven't heard the story. Oh, oh you sorry, Natasha. That? What the? Look at you. There's a story on the street about Chella being banned from traveling abroad with the president because every time he goes out of the president, he takes selfies of himself in hotels. <laughs> <where> <laughs> Apparently, he would be in the same hotel the president take no. photos and he'll wait, review what wait, which hotel the president wait, sleeping in. No, let in. me tell you something. Yeah. There's no way you're yeah. going to be in the same hotel with the president. So or people, you, you would know, go no, to that hotel no, and take no, selfies no, no. and you, post. But, but let me tell you this. Yeah. This is the thing um and uh, this comes not that I'm demeaning people mm-hmm. but it just comes back to our mindset yeah. and the kind of people that we are you get the point yeah so here's the thing was Chela Tukuta popular before becoming presidential photographer or he was popular after presidential photographer mhm 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 before thank you mhm okay oh, yeah. so now people say no is too popular <laughs> what 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 but excuse me did i make my you, you that's who you were before that's who, who i was before and people made you popular anyway, people made me right? popular you get the point yeah so the thing is that there are people who can't believe that this guy who we wanted to rot in prison he's now presidential photographer and traveling with and the he's president traveling everywhere. with the president everywhere no because zambians will feel are you telling me that there are people who are happy with you guys doing the podcast hell no i mean very soon you might hear to say no 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 actually <laughs> youtube wants to ban them whatever it is because <laughs> people will always come up with something people saying no chela is too excited wherever it goes to the president take selfies let and it's all security risk to the president ask, yeah let me ask you as in chela always traveled even before no 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 okay you have let me, yes no, uh-huh, but, but you've also always but posted let where me you tell go you this. when the president is going to a place mm. okay let me educate you enlighten education. us education let educate Free education you. Mm. yes something you do get in college yeah, I know. you can't when when i go for yeah. example in the advanced team mm. right mm-hmm. i'll give an example there's those who go in the advanced team 
and there's those who go with the president on the plane so the times most of the times i would go in advance to receive him that time mm. okay mm-hmm. so you find that his hotel is that side and i'm this side yeah so i'm only picked in the morning from that side to go to the, that place and being presidential photographer people think that look here's how the programs go so if for example you go for uh south africa there's a conference happening yeah so the president to when he arrives i'll take shots at the airport where he's going the people is meeting pa, 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 pa. from there i go advance to where the event will be taking mm, place yeah when he's coming to that I, place I he yeah. finds me there i'm already there okay so after that you escort him he goes to his hotel then go to nice man so yeah you, so you... so people who don't know and people who think they are experts in everything they will be telling you know security what 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 now let me ask you a question where's the security you take you don't even know where or that place where i've taken a photo from <laughs> you just you're, you're telling me you just guess at okay that place <laughs> there's a picture actually that went viral in, yeah. in dubai i think i saw that image i took a photo at them there were malls and shops this yeah. side the president stays in a mall <laughs> guys look the thing is that when people are working don't they enjoy the when they are working yeah. you take selfies in your office yeah. what's, the, and what's that's your wrong? office that's my office what's wrong with me taking a selfie whilst on duty yeah man true, you're gonna man. die know, with jealous i know natasha had one or two we spoke earlier you, you can take your mask off we don't have covid <laughs> or are you gonna give us covid no so we we have a uh friend fan are you a fan of the show a very big fan actually you have a question for chela that voice though jesus christ very, very radio very radio voice yeah Oh, I'm on radio. Surprise. I know. <laughs> Hot <laughs> FM, yeah. Plug. Right. Yeah, you had a question for Chella. Um, my question was, you know, when you get into um, a different sector of society, Chella is a state house photographer, you know. There's a yeah. certain way that people would expect you to behave, more or less. So, do you think with how you handle your social media, it correlates with the job that you do? Like, how do I handle my social media? You're very loud about a lot of things. So like people automatically assume you should be a little bit I don't know, no, but toned down. But, but the things I talk about are social things in there. Comments on what's happening in there. I know, but I don't think you're so so sphere. No, let me let me yeah. let me tell you. and this is what people don't understand. A photographer is an artist. Mm-hmm. And you should be you are a wrong person to ask that, ask that question because you're an artist. Uh-huh. Okay? So you can't <laughs> box an artist a creative. You get the point? The thing is, do I get my job done? Yeah. Yes. Some people, I'll tell you, <laughs> they'll say, "Oh, why was he dancing on Facebook?" Okay? I'm wearing a suit, I'm having fun, I'm just dancing. Yeah. yeah I'm not supposed to dance. People some people don't even expect me to talk to him or you. Yeah. Because now you're president of a photographer, so now you have to be rich. You have to be No, gentlemen, live your these life. These op- these positions come and go people remain i heard something tell me if it's true or not what more to her point firstly i said i already know what your nipples look like because you're posing shirtless with uh with a light skin chick i heard krista frost yeah yeah i heard mm-hmm. some senior people in the government mm. had to call you to chat with you like bra tone down like what you're doing on social media did that ever happen which people i have no idea that there are people that actually had to call you saying the meltdown that you that you're going through on social media needs to chill like because you're like all over the place no, but, but here's the thing Look, in fact some people know, including me thought that light chick had like some voodoo shit that she did on you <laughs> some love potion and you but, posted about but, that too but, 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 but you see this is what i'm trying to say people uh what people don't understand is that at the end of the day okay here's the thing do i talk about work at state house or whatever no you never hear me even talk about oh um uh the president this 
I don't even post his pictures. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yeah. You understand? Because that is work. work. Yeah. Do you know Max Zirigone? Heard about him. The NBC. civil servant, yes. Yeah. Who is uh, now uh, Bishop Mkongolo. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the same guy? Yes. He's a ZNBC. He's a ZNBC. Oh, yeah, him. It's entertainment. Yeah. So, what people don't realize is that even the president knows to say, like, we've got, we've got a guy who does some videos, John Mwanza. Yeah. John Mwanza is used to wearing shorts. Like you me. get the point? Yeah. Yeah, he's used to wearing shorts. So you're not going to say, oh, John Mwanza, uh, even the president would say, <laughs> creatives, they are like that. You can't tell him to say, oh, go and wear a suit. That's, that, that's, that's when he's when in his creative space. That's what, that's what that's works. His, because that's yeah. what works. You get the point. So what people, the, the, the problem is that people are not used to having a presidential photographer that's popular and famous. Mm, it's always the background guy. It's always, yeah, you understand? Yeah. So now here's a guy who is popular and famous and there are people who thought they are the best to be in that position and not Chela. Mm. You get the point? All right. So now you find that what? <laughs> uh, Chela worked for it. <laughs> so you, it's not, it's you, not you, overnight success. You, yeah, it's not overnight. And, and, and you're telling me that the president doesn't know that, oh, Chela is this guy that he gets his work done. Okay. Yeah. I go to the office just in my suit or whatever it is done my, with my work i will go take personal projects do profile pictures of people and stuff like that yeah. that is me because i don't want because i'm in state house now i should not talk to these guys and people are used to that <laughs> i'm puffed I'm up now yeah. yeah and you see that is the thing people are not going to change me to be who they want me to be because the problem is that people want you to be who they want you to be what a minute i'm not i was not fucking born for you to, 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 to talk about sorry, it sorry. any rebuttal <laughs> <laughs> yeah my no, dear no, crush saying it's not about Stop natasha it. but <laughs> yeah it's about what people say because these things people say you know and for me it's what has this got to do with what i'm doing that's a word okay? man preach. some people don't even expect you to be on this the podcast word man preach it. just in, as before we conclude I know. I don't know. You, you, you might have more that you want to say. Not necessarily. No, I get his point that he yeah. should still maintain the person that he has always been, and being a state house pro- photographer should not change that at, at all. I understand. Yeah. Right. But I mean, it's just one of those things where um, I'll give an example of Victor Kachaka, the lawyer. Now exactly yeah. you know everybody knew him for the kind of music that he did the type of music but when he got into that profession yeah. it had to die down so for me i'm thinking in those lines but i understand oh, what you yeah. say you know like when you get into certain positions Offices, in a certain way that you have the to part of the office yeah. act exactly so you know but you just know a, a thought <laughs> yeah but you know to be honest with you i don't do the anti cheche thing do I? Oh yeah, no. what was that about? Okay, it's, it's <laughs> that inter- actually that actually was giving me a lot of money, you know. <laughs> Wait, which? And what? And, people, what? and, and, and you know what? I'll mm. tell you what. Yeah. People will be jealous for something they Wait, don't the even know. Wait, the cross-dressing thing? Yeah. Yes, you know, people. People. Here's the thing. People will be jealous of things they don't even know. People will be jealous of. Oh, Chela is presidential photographer. What? So this guy, what? They don't know that I'm just there for service and for the love of what I love to do. Yeah, true. And there's not even the money they're thinking is there because someone will be thinking, oh, because now it's always oh, good. No, 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 I just love the man. I have a relationship with him and the family. The, that, that family is not, I'm not, is not, you see, there's a difference when you connect with people as in work to work or whatever, mm. but, and like when you are like family, you get the point? Yeah. Okay, so people don't understand that it's because I just love what I do and I offered myself. You know that I never asked President Dichelema for money, but every time he looked at me and said, Tukuta, come, go and buy. What? You, you get the point? Yeah. It's because I love what I do and he knows I'm passionate about what I do. Mr. President, we are passionate about podcasting. We love what we do. So they want you to come here, sir. <laughs> No, but don't yeah. do, do give him a shout. So has yeah. there been anything that he's actually called you to the side and say, my man, tone down on this? Any advice that he's told, that he's given you, stuff that you've done that has asked you to there, there chill some, on? No, let me tell you what. Um, 
there is what uh there, there, there are people right who uh how can i put it they would they would misunderstand yeah. something but the beauty and i'll tell you what bali that's why he's bali okay he sees he knows to say this is a joke <laughs> this is just it's entertainment it's entertainment yeah right. you get the point yeah so it's not that president who is the uh, so there are certain things even my, my, sometimes if i see that okay somebody was posting on my behalf maybe made a mistake because it's not every time that it's me who's uh, okay mm-hmm. so sometimes someone might be carried away and post something mm-hmm. and they don't so the time i'm coming to check like wait what was this you get the point so uh, there are those things sometimes that happen and then when you check and like oh okay and then some people would send some screenshots mm. to him yeah so it sent to me because those people have got the numbers <laughs> and then he sends to me and says what is this then i tell him say ah sir this was just this and this and this and this and said ah ah okay you so know? you guys shot on whatsapp huh you guys shot on whatsapp like just regular buddies he's a, he's a very good man he's never changed his number from the time he's, he got into the data i'll say i've got his number but never texted him i think i should man do you have his number yeah really? i actually oh, do have his up. number yeah no true story do you have his number have you heard how he's described the man yeah doesn't that tell you something eh, yeah, said, look on the flights to australia host him uh-huh <laughs> we're gonna yeah. and i'm gonna i'm gonna uh make sure that at least you guys can have him on this yeah of course, host him yeah you host him uh-huh yeah. he'll come back to me cool and tell me to say i'm gonna press you on this channel ah. and we'll keep calling Taylor. that's how this man is <laughs> I'm, i'm gonna press you on this yeah Yeah, you and I will talk after this. Yeah. Just in conclusion, um do you have any I wanted to say something. One yeah, more, sure. yeah? They're going to call you like a client to wants their pictures. That's how much yes. they're going to call you. <laughs> I like <laughs> that. I like that. Damn right. <laughs> God damn right. How's all of them by the way? Especially Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. I love it. I I'm enjoying like, like a, 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 that's the the cruise control. Uh, it's now the drive through. The drive through. Drive through. Oh. Yes. Like by KFC drive through. We'll pick up our chicken tomorrow. <laughs> Thank I you. you. I listened to radio for the first time. I, I, I texted you. Yes, My phone did. died. She and I listened flows. to radio for the first time yeah. like two weeks ago. Yeah, no, she's fantastic. Too many goddamn commercials on radio. Like, well, I listened to 20 to minutes paid, straight. You know? get paid. Jesus. <laughs> no, but you're hot, though. I like your voice. Oh, thank you. I like you even better in person. Ooh. So Not if I told I you like that I'm it. single... <laughs> moving yeah. on moving on uh, one last question for chella before we get into our little game that we play at the end of every episode you were in uh, do, I, do i keep going back to the 37 days in prison though uh, i i do huh? on this episode have i gone back a little too much on 37 yeah, days you have There's okay just what, i want to end so just remind me before you the, the 37 days in prison i mean you're a human you're a man you've got needs you've got mental physical sexual needs let's talk about the sexual needs man 37 days in prison can i tell you something yeah when you don't put something to your mind yeah the environment itself won't allow you to even <laughs> you think, won't about even think about it because there's no there's no miniscurts passing because, by no because here is the thing huh? yeah your program very early in the morning yeah 04 mm. up everyone damn okay yeah by the time you're getting back to <laughs> the activities by the time you're get, you are tired days over So after the 37 so days, days after days in prison move yeah. faster. <laughs> so I do getting you. raped in prison like we here. Look, sometimes people exaggerate these things. Yeah. Sometimes uh when people want to get funding mm. want to get money they make up stories. Sometimes they will exaggerate things mm. because look, I was in there. I was observing one of the the, the only thing that really touched me the most is the fact that There's one toilet mm. in a cell where there's 500 people. Shoot. And the way people I saw people die. I saw people die. So people getting sick. As a pop. I tried to help. It didn't work. The clinic is not there to help. The time that by the time they're trying to help that person to take that person to the hospital that person is gone damn um i've got a whole book to write 
about that experience because the way the way people treat uh, the people that are in prisons and the hum- the people out here the things they say about people who are in there are not right those people are still human yeah and for some people to say hey those criminals that person should rot in jail what do you know what you're wishing that person for do you know what you're really wishing a person for you know we 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 have we still have to be human beings and remember that one day it could be you in that place mm-hmm. not because you committed a crime but there are people co- there are people who who are in there because the crime that was committed by someone and it entangled them yeah and they found themselves there. they don't even know how they found themselves there i saw this young man that always looked up to me in photography and he was in chongwe with his friends they were i don't know crossing some they were going somewhere and they passed through a place that is prohibited and he was arrested he had his camera it was broken he only remained with some pieces he came and uh he didn't realize that I was in there mm. when he saw me he had this broken lens mm. you know like the part of the broken lenses whatever the police did to him and then he came there and he hugged me and he cried he said Mr. Chela I was only escorting friends who were coming from a shoot and the police arrested us beat us up damaged everything and i find myself here but now i find you here you're not supposed to be in this place you inspire a lot of us young photographers out there that young young man had his own uh, illnesses uh, a week later he got diarrhea Mm. because the water there um, the toilets and everything else is pathetic he got sick and eventually died oh jesus damn and i remembered one thing he said to me people there are people that will not know you in person and for who you are but they just know from what they hear about you they will always judge you but us and people who have had encounters with you and know you at a personal level know you that's when i realized that life you can't it's god mm. who's in charge of your life all right let's that was deep, sh- man let's shut up That was deep. I even feel like just ending the show right there, man. Like, right? Anything more just spoil that moment. Jesus. You know what I mean? But anyway, chill, chill out. Just, just a quick one, man. Before we leave, just to get to know you a little bit better. <laughs> Five questions. Um, we're just trying to get to know you a little bit better. And uh, what do you own? This is question one of the five. What do you own that you should actually throw out right now? Mm. <laughs> Anything I own that? Oh, some clothes. Clothes, huh? No, but not really. Maybe throwing, but not throwing. <laughs> Nothing yeah. you own that you should throw out. I'm the same way too. I've got a whole bunch of clothes. That This I guy's got make. like over 200 sneakers in his house, and he wears the same two pairs every day, the whole year. I still can't figure it out, man. Like, anyway, we'll come <laughs> to you later. We like what we like. It's 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 a disease. He can't just see a sneaker in a shop. He has to buy it. He <laughs> just <laughs> store it. It's I, a hoarder. I'm that, I'm that addicted as well. True, right? right? Yo. <laughs> Would you rather have Fimbombo or Fimbombo? Or Fos Fimbombo? Or falls of Fimbombo. 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 Anytime, eh? Anytime. Wait, nice one, man. Let me add one more to that. Yeah. Would you rather have? Would you rather have Red Bull or Power? You know, Power the energy drink. You know it. Yeah. Power. Why are you laughing? No, I'd rather have Red Bull. <laughs> this is an honest question. <laughs> Everything sounds corrupt when it comes to when it comes from you, man. 
<laughs> I'd rather have Red Bull. You know what you should try? Mm-hmm. Revin, the, 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 the company that makes power, they've got two new power um, energy drinks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I tried, you tried that, right? I, I took, which one did you take, take home? Um, There's one with ginger in it. I, that's the one I took home. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I took home, yeah. I just, we're given a whole case and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's the most used app on your phone? The most used app on my phone is Netflix. Netflix? I, I don't know why I half thought you were going to say your camera. On my phone? On your phone, yeah. I said on my phone. On your phone, yeah. yeah Netflix? Yeah. You're a movie kind of guy like him. Yeah, like uh, him. Would you rather have the details of your financial life or your love life be made public? Uh, none. No, it's just would you nah, rather? You so you have to pick one. Yeah, yeah, no, you have to pick one, one, man. You have to pick one. No, you can't give me that. Uh, op- those options. This <laughs> your public life, your life life, or, or your financial, financial life. Yeah. I don't, because if I, one of them would be made because, public, because which look, one would you prefer? No. Be made public. Okay, maybe financial life or your love life, right? Financial now? life. Are you and shagging that many chicks, brother? You don't want your love life to be out there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because you see, what I put, I can't put my real woman on social media, and that's what people should know. Ah. I can't put someone that I love. That one, someone I'm serious with uh-huh. on Facebook. Are you dating no. though? He just said, I can't put my woman up. No, I never said who. I just said, yeah. are you dating? No, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. The way he confidently said, I can't put my woman, like she's actually there, uh, you know what I mean? Mm, relax, fine. <laughs> <laughs> relax. Uh, if there were only two women left on the planet and these mm. women were, who should I put here? Natasha. Mumpy and Cleo Ice Queen, who would you date? Who would I go for? Mumpy or uh, Mumpy? <laughs> you go for Mumpy? Yes. Why? Eh? Why? I'm not saying I'm not saying it's wrong. Uh, I, I love I love some Mumpy no, as well. It says, you said between Cleo and Mumpy. Yeah, yeah. Mumpy. I go why? for Mumpy. Why? Uh, because the smile on his face. I know, right? Yeah, I think he's thought about this like a thousand yeah. times, right? <laughs> Does she know? No, I don't know. Does she know about your crush? No, that's your mama. You said between Mambi and It's the way you just drifted no, away. No, <laughs> smile you right 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 now, now. <laughs> she got you through those lonely nights in prison, didn't she? No. Just her thought, her no, image. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's because, okay, so, let me tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you why. Mambi. It's all he needed to get through the night. No, right? no, 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 no. Okay, okay. It's, it's, My it's, nigga. Maybe she needs me more. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Ah, crap, man. It, it's, psh, I, need throw, I need to throw my phone on this one, man. I, psh, it's been a real episode, man. Thanks a lot, Chella, for coming through. You're welcome. Uh, you gave us a bit of a run this week, and we gave you one as well by postponing this interview, but thanks a lot for coming through. Um, you, you've shown us like a, a, a great level of respect by coming through, considering you know how busy your job is. Yeah. And we've done this episode into the night because we had to wait for you to finish you know, taking photos of the mm. president, which is a very... Uh, important job, I must add. Sometimes you take these jobs for granted. You know what I mean, Bruh. And he tells us that he's watched almost every single episode. What of time the podcast. does? Where does he yes. get the time from, man? Do you know that? Yeah. Um. I, I, I most of the times mm-hmm. I go to bed around zero two, zero right. one, zero two. And you have to be at the office at seven. I wake up by seven. I should be up by six. Seven. I should be up. six. I should be up by seven eight. What's who or what is keeping you up till that late? Three in the morning. I love the podcast. No, no, and and you see, here's the thing. Yeah. I love to see what is happening in the world out there. And then you found that's that podcast. And then, no, I love. You know what? And I'll tell you what. There's um, a lot of blogs on um, Nigerian blogs. Yeah. That have such kind of arrangement. Yeah. And I follow Pau's Nigeria. What what? Yeah. And then I found this very interesting. So I was going through the whole time. <laughs> so I was like. What? I watch the Pompey. Yeah. Um, yeah, I watch Pompey's. I watched. Um, um, there's quite a lot that I watched actually. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, oh, these guys. This thanks is a lot, man. Zam yeah. is happening, man. Chella, thanks a lot for coming through. It's been real. We, we didn't expect you to do this interesting, man. Oh, we, we thought you're not going to answer half our questions. He was prepared to fight you on this episode. Uh, if I show you a WhatsApp history from the past two days. He was so prepared to fight in this episode. Yeah. We didn't think you'd answer I, any questions. I came with my guns out. <laughs> because the interaction that we had, you were just all... Why are you calling me this time? I'm busy in the office. I'll call no, you, you back. You, you know sounded so rude. In my mind, I was like, this guy you know, is stuck up. Yeah. No, you know but what you're that, nothing like that, though. Yeah. yeah. You know what happens, huh? Yeah. People don't realize, don't know this. You find that when you're with the president, when at work, mm. you can't have your phone 
Ah, oh, it's a security right. risk. No, not but just, let me, not let, that. Let me yeah. share something interesting that happened. Mm. So I call him last night, right? Yeah. Uh, and then someone answers, and then says, "Ah, uh, Mr. Chela is busy. May you please call him in an in an hour?" Then I say, "Please tell him it's Elson from the Z Podcast." Then I hear the guy saying, "It's Elson from the Z Podcast." Then the guy grabs the phone and is like, "Oh, hey, what's up?" <laughs> <laughs> I felt That's important. not important, man. I felt important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I get there are times I tell uh, Reba, say that's the guy that picked the phone. So I, oh, you're the guy that picked up the phone. Yes. Yeah. So when I'm when I'm working, <laughs> I'm trying to work on some stuff. Okay, because you have a whole workload. Yeah, right. So then, if the number is not saved on the phone, right, and then it comes, I'm like. Mm-mm. Pick. I don't probably know. Just a groupie. Let me just continue forget. working. Yeah. Then when I hear that, ah, then I don't know. ah, okay, <laughs> that nigga. So is my number saved now? Yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, you you heard it from Chela himself. He's founded the president every day, and he has promised us from his mouth to God's ears and to ours that he's going to bring the president on that Z podcast. So look out for very that episode good. coming you, up very very you soon. You might do it at State House. Or we might do it at State House. So we got suits and everything, my man. We've sent that out to the universe Actually, right you now. You don't even need to be in suits. What? What? Yeah, we'll be short to, be... to prove look, a point. Look, you're youthful. Yeah, yeah. you are young. So... Well, I am. He's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you know, nigga, I'm a month older than ah, you. Shut up. Exactly 30 <laughs> days older than that you. That is a month too old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching that Z podcast episode 21. K plus Elson Natasha showed up. Did a feature. Chela Tukuta. Thanks a lot, yeah. man. Remember Welcome. to subscribe, like, comment on our uh, YouTube subscribe. and other socials. Please. Subscribe. Tell the neighbor to tell their neighbor to subscribe. Is that that podcast on YouTube? No, that's, that's a podcast just the point on where Facebook. these guys need to subscribe. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. I don't know why it is so difficult to press the subscribe button. Is it because we're black? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Cut. Just playing. Till the next episode. May the good Lord richly bless you. Have a lovely day, evening, night, whatever, whatever time you're watching us.